Hickman says she and her boyfriend, Logan Fracar, and their two friends were out fishing near the Milano Bridge. They were on their way back to their truck when a ski boat landed on top of theirs. Yes, Fracar lost part of his leg as a result, but it was his girlfriend's quick thinking that officials say probably saved his life. Channel 4's Heather Lee is joining us live with more on this story. Heather, it sounds like he also saved her life. Yes, that's what she believes. She says that she was laying on the cooler sleeping. She had her eyes closed as they were coming back. And she says that just before that boat landed on top of theirs, he actually jumped and tried to get her out of the way. And she ended up in this cubby area underneath the boat. But she says while she was trapped, she wasn't injured. It's hard to fathom how it even happened. I woke up and I was inside the boat with another boat on top of me with water rushing in and trying to figure out how to get out of the boat. It was dark and Billy Inham, her boyfriend, Logan Farquhar, and two friends were just coming back from a successful fishing trip. Inman was tired, so she decided to close her eyes. When she woke up, her boyfriend was scooping her up, desperately trying to move her out of the way of another boat. He very well saved her life, injuring himself in the process. He said, babe, I lost my leg. So in return, Inman saved his, wrapping her shirt around his leg as a tourniquet. Once another boat pulled the four to safety, officials say somehow the people in the other boat took off. I've never heard of that happening. I've been boating, I've owned my own boat since I was 22. I've never heard of that happening. Lisa Almeida, the owner of Freedom Boat Club, says people need to take responsibility for their boats and use caution. They should have a designated driver and you should have a designated lookout. Somebody that's on the boat with you that is your lookout to see what's happening. Almeida says everyone should get the proper training before operating a boat. I absolutely think there should be requirements. I am definitely a proponent of requirements because there is a lot to know about driving a boat. You know, the wind, the current, you know, how to dock without crashing. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things. How to anchor, how to anchor correctly. So Amita says you need to have enough life vests on your boat for everyone, and they need to be in a place that you can get to them quickly. You should also have flares and a safety horn. She says it's also a good idea to make sure you tell someone on land where you are going and what your plan is. Now, as for the boaters that are accused of leaving the scene, FWC says they were able to find them, and they have been speaking with them, but at this point, we don't know if there are any charges against them. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.